Hello, good morning, good to see you all. How are you doing, chat? Good to see you. Feels amazing, man. Oh, what does that feel too good? What does that feel good to say, to be honest? Good to see you all. Good morning. This is where the magic happens. I uh, want to do today's stream a little bit different than normally. Today's stream, I kind of want to start with um, a little bit of a uh, chat session. I think it is uh, good to uh, catch up a bit with each other. I um, want to share some part of um, my story, everything that happened, how I'm doing now. I uh, want uh, you guys to be able to ask me questions you would like to answer me or uh, you would like to ask me. I think that's also a very uh, fair thing. And uh, from there on, then uh, I think we will just play some Hearthstone. But first, uh, I want to just uh, do a little bit chatting. Let me actually see if I can do full cam. Yeah, we can do some full cam for a little bit. Can I add chat there as well? Oh, I'm so... So, um, yeah, first little bit of uh, part, guys. I think it's good um, before I answer all the kind of uh, questions. Um, what uh, I think it's good um, for me to just uh, share a little bit of the story here as well. Um, so um, I uh, the last stream I did well, that was I think on a Monday, and um, on that Monday when I was streaming, I started to feel very tired. I started to feel also quite a lot of pain in my back. Um, so I ended that stream quite early. I remember I didn't really mention it that stream, but I remember that I suddenly got a lot of pain during that stream. Um, and um, so I just uh, ended the stream and I was like, oh, I probably just don't feel well for today. Uh, can happen. I mean, everyone has these days. Um, and But then on, it kind of only started to get uh, kind of worse with me. I uh, wasn't really able to eat anymore or I had like a really hard time eating. I had a lot of like puke feeling all the time. And then also during the evening and especially the day after, um, I wasn't really able to drink anymore as well. I, every time I was drinking, I suddenly just had felt so bad. And, uh, at, and most of the time, 50 minutes later, I had to go to the toilet and uh, I couldn't get it in me. Um, the pain only increased a lot. Um, it was pain that I've never had before. It was a lot of pain. So we decided to go to the hospital. Uh, luckily, we went directly there to the hospital. What was... Uh, very um very nice that we went quite early to the hospital after i felt like that um they did some uh, researches and uh, it seemed to be that um, i uh, got some problem with my kidney they directly saw that both of my kidneys were uh, having infection so uh, that was uh, the problem I didn't directly uh, was able to get in the hospital. Um, they gave me a little treatment, but still the pain was so insane. I, I, I couldn't walk anymore. I couldn't drink. I couldn't eat. It was really bad. That was like a really bad day. I felt very painful, everything. And it's like, it's kind of hard to describe. You need to have like had, some, had, had it yourself or someone around you. Um, then you can maybe like know what I'm a bit talking about, but it, uh, it, it felt really bad in my back and in my belly. Um, I, I like the biggest problem was that I wasn't just able to eat and drink. That was, um, that was just a really, uh, a big problem cause you can be quite long without eating, but you cannot be that long without drinking. And I was at that moment, almost two days without kind of drinking anything cause I just couldn't drink. Even when I wasn't eating or drinking, I, I just had like miserable feeling that I kept feeling I, I might have to puke or anything. So that was very bad. Um, then I got uh, in the hospital. They did a lot of tests. They did a lot of blood tests, a lot of other tests as well. And uh, yeah, they could see that um, I uh, had a kidney infection and also some um, um, infection in my blood as well. The infection was not only there in my kidneys, also in my blood. What was... Uh, uh, something that also had to get fixed like very ASAP. Uh, then uh, luckily it was just uh, getting fixed very fast. I, they gave me serums, they gave me antibiotics and everything. Um, and from there on, uh, uh, luckily my body was picking up very, very fast. Um, and that was very important. I mean, it could have been a bit like two ways. Your body is reacting really well directly and it picks up everything kind of how it was before 
or um, it's picking up quite poor and then uh, it's something that will take a very, very long time. But luckily, um, my body was re reacting very well. The first, uh, the first one and a half, two days, I, uh, they gave me serums. So um, they just didn't really, instead of like me having to eat and to drink, they gave me uh, serums during the night, during the day to, uh, to get all the vitamins in, to get enough water in and all the, the things your body needs basically. Um, so that was, um, that was very nice. Um, or that helped a lot. And then afterwards, actually it went very fast. After one day I could already drink. I couldn't really eat, but drink. And then after two, three days, I started to be able to eat everything kind of as well, step by step. So from there on the recovery went very well. Um, I was released out of the hospital last Saturday. So, but the advice was that I would still at least take uh, a week very easy. So it wasn't that I was out of the hospital that I could directly um, do everything. I, the advice was, um, you should definitely stay a lot on bed. You should definitely not do much. You need to take rest. So I followed the doctor's advice in that. Um, to take it very easy and everything. Still played in Grandmasters, by the way, and I have no idea how I did it, but I came to the finals. <laughs> that was kind of funny. So somehow I made it to the finals uh, in Grandmasters. I almost even qualified. <laughs> um, but, um, and for the rest, uh, I just took it uh, very easy. I was very tired, so... The first days I was in, um, in at home, I was like sleeping almost all day. Um, also, of course, the medicines that I was using, I um, I um, was kind of still getting quite tired as well of it. Now we just did a checkup again um, yesterday, and uh, everything is uh, much much better. They see the blood is also good. My kidneys are working well again, and uh, so yeah. That is uh, kind of how it all went, but uh, it was definitely an, uh, a kind of hard experience or uh, it was an experience, but I'm happy uh, how I'm feeling now. I don't have pain at all and that's the best feeling because I had a lot of pain. So I'm very happy um, that got so much better. So I'm just so happy to also be able to like put on the stream again, see everyone. So thanks everyone also for all the kind messages. I received a lot of kind messages everywhere. I uh, on uh, here, on Twitch, on Twitter, on uh, everywhere, Instagram, Facebook, Discord, wherever you can send messages, I got messages. So thank you all so much. I didn't really respond to everything because there were way too many, but uh, I saw them all. So thank you all very much as well for that. Thijs, how did you communicate with the doctors? Uh, just in English. They could speak very well English. Thijs, where are you? This room is new for me. Yeah, so um, I just moved the room. So I was moving in like the more little room here in the house, but I decided to move it to the uh, to the bigger part here because it was like a little bit more space and the other room was getting very, very hot. So that's the reason why, let me make sure. Thijs, this is Chet's fault. They didn't redeem enough drinking water. Okay, and one very important thing, kind of for the rest of my life, guys, I have to make sure I am, uh, I stay hydrated. It's very important. I have to drink three liters of water slash tea. <laughs> I think I'm already, luckily I got a, a person that already drinks a lot, but uh, it's got more important. So I got here some water. I got here some more water and I got here some tea. Can you do everything already? Yes, kinda. I mean, step by step, the only thing is they advised me to not do sports directly, to wait a bit with that if I wanted to do. And esports doesn't fall in that category, okay? I will keep, keep that joke away. <laughs> Thais, how was GM for you during that time? I mean, I, to be honest, wasn't, I wasn't really planning on playing in GM. I mean, it wasn't even in my mind. I was in the hospital and I just wanted to get better. I already had the mindset I'm not going to play in Grandmasters. I submitted the decks of like, uh, the week before because I didn't have time so I just I said like yeah I'm probably not able to play um, just put my decks from last week in that's all I did and then um, they released me out of the hospital Saturday um, 
And then uh, I was still kind of thinking I, I won't really play because I was feeling very tired. But then I also uh, slept three hours before my GM match. Um, and I felt like, hey, let's just give it a try. But it was really a last minute decision. I wasn't play planning on playing at all. I literally decided just before my match, okay, I'm going to play. So that was kind of, um, yeah. And then I actually made it out of groups directly. I won against Psycho. I won against RDU. So I made it out of groups. <laughs> I felt quite okay, but it took a lot of energy from me. I mean, when, when my opponents had like full secret boards or anything, I just had to go. So I just tried to play as best as I can. I still think I played actually very well under the circumstances. I mean, I couldn't really think every secret through or I, I just wasn't able. I banned Priest because I just didn't want to face Priest. <laughs> I was like, I can't handle a Priest now. So I I mean, I had kind of a free bet against Psycho because I was more flexible against it. And I was like, I'm just going to ban Priest. I'm not going to give my body a Priest, like a series with Priest. And then uh, I actually made it out of groups kind of as a surprise. Then I even won against Casey and I made it to the finals and I almost qualified. I mean, I think I'm, I'm just happy I could put up a good show. That makes me like more important. How was the healthcare? It was very good. I am uh, here in Turkey and uh, but the healthcare here has been like very, very, very good. So I'm very, they took very good care of me. Also, of course, uh, Simi. Um, the mother, uh, her dad, they are all very like all the time with me as well when they call me with me. So the doctors as well. So they took very good care. I have to be very careful with um, antibiotic cause my body was reacting very bad towards the uh, antibiotic I got for my teeth to get an operation. S and uh, very likely uh, I am allergic for that and I should definitely not use it again. It's penicillin. Maybe some of you know it more in the medical terms. So I used amoxicillin and very likely I uh, cannot use that. <laughs> Thais, I can't stop without sleep without your streams. Well, we're going to be back. I will still take it here at the start. Kind of like the way I feel. So I might just be like taking it uh, a bit easy here and there. Um, I will just stream when I feel well. If I have a day where I just feel tired or I don't feel well, I will not stream. I'm not going to put at the start uh, pressure on it as well. But definitely, uh, I wanna. I missed you a lot, guys. So it's good to see you all. Thais, Yarla was uh, so lucky you were smashing. I mean, I had no time to admit to uh, to change to change my decks. I mean, I there were I knew there were people that like could probably go with anti warrior strat, but I had I was literally in hospital having so much pain. I was barely able to like. Like, so I was just, <laughs> there was like nothing I could do. <laughs> I, I'm just, I, I like at that moment, like grandma's, I didn't care at all. If I was in the relegation bracket and I would have been relegated, I would have been relegated. Like, what can you do? It was actually nice that I actually made it in the playoffs in the, and didn't get in the relegation bracket because otherwise... I will probably not be able to play if the days were the wrong days. They actually rescheduled for me. What well, was very kind. It actually helped me. If I had to play on Friday, I would have never played. That day I still felt very bad. On on Saturday, I actually was able to play at the end. Um, so that was actually nice that they gave me an extra day. I didn't think it would matter, but it actually mattered. I had to watch Radu Thais for a week. I had to watch Crip for a week. God, you guys had so hard weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Thais, you look like you lost weight. I don't think I lost that much weight. At the start I did because I had two days where I didn't eat and drink. <laughs> so of course that was kind of hard, but I think I got recovered on that, but definitely we'll look at that as well. Thais, do you feel like you are recovered or do you feel it still hurts? I feel just since two days that I get like kind of my kidneys are at least fully recovered. I'm able to eat everything, I'm able to drink everything, I don't have pain. Still feel sometimes a bit more tired, but I took a lot of sleep lately, every day. So yeah, everything much better, chat. I'm very happy to say that I am doing so much better. 